This is a piece that I started, I guess, yesterday, late afternoon. And I've got a couple of layers on, including, uh, I think you can probably see some uh, collage that I've put on. Uh, it was pretty free in the first layer. Got layer. I got a little bit tighter than I would like in maybe maybe the third layer. And but I'm just trusting the process. And I just mixed up some of this gorgeous uh, Nova Color fluorescent red because I am totally digging like the pinks and the bright orangey pinks with the greens. I don't know, I've got a thing going on with green. Um, I looked at Cy Twombly's green pieces again this week and I've seen some other green pieces that I really like and this weekend was very sunny and green across the street in the meadow, um, beautiful sunsets, uh, so, I guess that's all just coming together in this. This has a lot of texture going on. I've got modeling paste. I've scratched in. Uh, I've used my ink pen. Uh, I have, again, collage pieces. I love this uh, tape. It's it's a linen tape that it, it doesn't work anymore. It's so old that the tape side of it does not work anymore. Uh, so now I use it in my collage pieces. I love these pieces of cardboard that I've ripped off of, I think it was a wine box, uh, and I love all these lines and the textures. I'll show you one more time. Um, so I have used some modeling paste in this, like that little blue bit. You see that little blue bit there? Uh, and I'm going to use some more with this, and I just don't want it looking so, I don't want it to be looking so perfect, like the lines... So look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, oh gosh, it's so great. And I just want it a little more uneven and textured. I don't want things to feel perfect because I like things perfectly imperfect, like life. It's a beautiful day here. It's a beautiful Monday. And I'm sneaking in a little bit of painting time. And I say sneaking in because there's other things on my docket today. I'm just going to turn my, my palette knife this way. Look at all that beautiful texture. Come down here to where this color was down here. So much better when it's not feeling like it's trying too hard to be perfect. And I really love all that texture. Again, I'm going to get down here, coming the other way. And then I may come back in with some of my other colors with a little modeling paste because I really am, I don't know, been using modeling paste lately, which I've used before, but I've just been using it in some of my recent works. Um, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. Just hold on and bear with me for a second. Now this one's much bigger, so I won't be able to show you the whole thing. 
uh, and I don't want to spill my water, but you can see I mixed my titanium white in this piece with some modeling paint. This, this piece is called No More $50 Shoes, and it's a, as you can see, it's a collage piece. It's a mixed media collage, and uh, this green has modeling paste. Uh, there's many layers to this one. You can see the title there, No More $50 Shoes. Uh, that piece is available. It's beautiful, bright white. I was feeling the need for space, but uh, I just am loving all that texture that the modeling paste is bringing to the equation. And I'll show you another couple that don't have quite as much. I don't even know. I'm not sure I even, I'm just looking at these. I thought I had used modeling paste in these. Um, but now that I look, I'm thinking that I didn't. I think that it's just acrylic and collage. Uh, but that first big white piece, No More $50 Shoes, is a lot of modeling paste in that. And then this, look at, I'm going to pick this up just so you can see all that. Look at that. Isn't that just, ooh. Love it, love it. And then when it dries, it, you know, it's obviously it's not going to look as glossy. It dries really nice and matte. You see that with that little bit of light blue in there that had the modeling paste. Oops, I just stuck my finger in there. Oh, well, must have meant to be doing that. And um, I'm just going to, I think I want to, have like a bit of modeling. I want some of this, but I have to let that dry. Uh, maybe here, here, with some modeling paste in these colors. Um, so I'm going to add a little modeling paste to my paper plate. And you can see I'm using super fancy, fancy pantsy solo, solo plate. And I'm just squeezing some modeling paste out onto Here, I want to clean. I'm going to use this one. This is a different. I'm just getting some green and I want it to mix. So I'm mixing a, uh, let's see, I'm mixing a permanent green light with a thallow green. I'm, I'm loving this permanent green light. That is actually Grumbacher. And I really like uh, the body of the Grumbacher. So I don't use it all the time. Um, you know, but it's a pretty heavy body. like uh, Golden or Liquitex, whereas the Nova Color, <clears throat> the Nova Color that I used to mix with this modeling paste is not, just hold on one second. Oh, there's a spider. <laughs> I knew I saw something. Um, the Nova Color is not as heavy body. I just want to go in here with this, so I'm just mixing that color, which is what that was. Let's see if I can add to the spot I want without messing up the coral, but I may have to come back. Mm, I like that. I think I want a little more of this light pink somewhere. I'm not sure where, maybe in here. 
Uh, I'm going to dry this with a hair dryer to kind of get that process going so I can kind of come back in here with more of that permanent green light. And then this I think I want a little bit lighter mint and the same here, although it's there. I don't know. I want a little contrast in the middle of that, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Maybe, maybe the... Uh, Maybe some of the pink there. We'll have to see where it goes. Uh, but this is a really fun piece to work on. And I'm just letting it do its thing. Um, and now I have to let it dry. But look how pretty the palette is. Right? Work of art in itself. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put this up on the wall and see what it looks like now and where I need adjustments and that's something that you can do or take it off your work table uh, look at it on a blank you know with a blank background you could import it um, into art rooms app or something like that to look at um, I'm gonna hang it on my wall but I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching me paint